uh, lights, camera, action. And good morning, Ryan. Uh, morning, Rick. And good morning, audience. I'm here today with Ryan Hickey, the talented author, novelist of Dally Tale series. And we're going to have a bit of a discussion about... About... A ten, about a five anime movies that are based on books and myths. Books and myths. Radio. We'd like to do in chronological order, like ten down to number one, one being the best. Hmm. I don't know. All right. Okay. All right. The first one, Shrek. We all we we, we all know the DreamWorks movie Shrek. You know, big green guy. I uh, roar. This is the Palmy Run Run Away movie. We all know that movie, right? Yes, the big green guy and the donkey. Yeah. Right. Well, it turns out Shrek here is based on a book made by Will William Steak. Look. Well, okay. How? And in the book, um, Shrek get he gets kicked out of his swamp by his parents and finds. A tough fire fire home of his own. In the process, he meets a donk, a talking donkey, and and he comes face to face with the knight who guards the princess. However, the elements of the movie and the book are different in some way. Oh, so like um, that sounds very similar. Didn't um, Shrek get kicked out of a swamp? No, he didn't. No. Okay, it's been decades since I've seen it. I think 94, maybe. So, give us a rundown. What happened? What's the difference? Well, in the movie, her Shrek was an ogre who didn't, uh, who wanted to be alone, and he was very tutorial of a swamp until Farquaad drove every fairy tale creature into his forest, along with Donkey, the talking donkey we all know, know and love. <laughs> so, Shrek wanted to get his swamp back. But the only way to get get one back from Farquaad is if he helped him get a princess from from a tower. Okay, I actually got a bad memory. I forget who Farquaad was. Oh, he's the main antagonist of the film, a dwarf man with a red dwarf man who who sees everything that's unperfect in, except himself. Nice. And the author of that of Shrek the story. Well, well, William Steed or something. Anyway, uh, uh, in the book, there was no Farquaad, and in the one, Shrek got kicked out. He, he went off on a quest to rescue the Princess Fiona. Uh, he met a talking donkey, and in the process, he had, he had to go, go, go up against a knight who keeps the princess in captive. Uh -huh. in, in the end of the tale, the Shrek and Fiona lived happily ever after, Happily, uh, happily ever ugly after, or something. Happily ever <laughs> ugly after. Yeah, Sounds that's what good. it says. Right, yeah. So what's number nine then? Uh, 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 I said five movies, not ten. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. The Road to El Dorado. You have. We, 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 we all know the DreamWorks film, The Road to El, El, El Dorado. Except El Dorado is a myth. You see, when... You see... We all don't know the Spanish army, uh, Cortes. Uh, they, they, they think in Bay the, the South. Well, in, in the South, they, they were looking for gold. And, and, and there was an ancient... Ancient and mythical place called El Dorado, the the the, the city of gold. The, the, the city of gold it uh -huh. is said to be a, a mythical place run by ancient warriors. Yeah, the warriors. <laughs> In the film, two con men who escaped from Cortes found El Dorado, and were accidentally mistaken as gods. Okay, so this is like the city of gold. It wasn't nothing to do with the elixir of youth or anything like that. No, that's the fountain of youth. Aha! Uh -huh. It was a golden city run by natives. However, rumor has it that in real life, El Dorado was found, but but they killed, and all the natives were killed by the south. 
uh, the 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 <laughs> the Spanish. Didn't Indiana Jones also look for El Dorado? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, right, I get it, I get it. Okay, right, right, right. The point is, the film The Road to El Dorado is based on the myth, the El, the El Dorado. El mm-hmm. Dorado, the city of gold. Yes. Never confirmed, was it? Uh, maybe. Okay, next. Now. Next. Number three. Okay, okay. We all have you ever heard of the rumor, the historical rumor, Anastasia? No. Okay, long time ago, Russia was invaded by an army, an, an, an army that killed the ro- that killed a royal family called the Romanovs. The Romanovs, to be exact, uh-huh. and get that they killed every member of the family, including the, their their children. However, before forensics, before forensics were invented, people believed that one of them survived, a princess named Anastasia. But that was just a rumor. It wasn't actually true, but until forensics discovered that she didn't make it out. Anyway, based on the rumor, which is based on a book, the, the Don Blood made the movie called, an anime movie called Anastasia. Uh-huh. <laughs> in, the, in the movie, Anastasia, uh, uh, who, who, who survived the attack, suffered amnesia and does not remember who she is, which is why everyone believes that it's a rumor that Anastasia survived. Her grandmother, the 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 the, the, the Queen of Paris, of Paris, left the numerous bounty to for, for anyone to bring her back. As proof that she survived. Where is she living? A little orphanage. Yep. T- t- ah, yep. True. I, I've guessed the plot. Yeah, but a con man who fell in love with her, Dimitri, who does not know what she is, Anastasia, decided to pretend, pretend Anastasia to be Anastasia. But when he realizes that Anastasia really is Anastasia, he decided to to to, to, to give up the money and give her to her. And give it to her grandmother without the money. At first, it was for the money, but Dimitri realized that it was where she really belonged. In fact, a long time ago, Dimitri helped Anastasia to escape as a boy. And get this. Oh, you're not going to believe this. A movie based on a historical myth. You're not going to believe who's the main, 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 main antagonist of the film. Mm, it's not Rasputin. Ras- 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 yep, it's Rasputin. As soon as you said Rasp, I, I knew it. I think I know the story, but I've never seen the videos. Uh, you have heard of Rasputin, right? Yes. Don't know enough about him. Uh, Rasputin was known to be one of history's greatest v- 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 villains. You know, a guy with a long beard. He say he couldn't die. Well, they were wrong. In real life, in real life, he was he was a drunk. A terrible man. He, oh man, he did a lot of despicable things. Rasputin. Oh, I, I've actually seen that on Google somewhere. Okay. That's the name about Rasputin. Now, in real life, he died while drowning in in frozen water. But somehow, people say he survived. With dubbed the main name, the man who couldn't die. That's because of his alcohol content. However, in the movie, and get this, the Ro- the Romanovs drove him away because of his selfishness. However, in real life, Rasputin just saw them as his family, even though he wasn't related to them. Mm. However, in the anime movie, which is a little uh, not true in real life, Rasputin, Rasputin, to trade his soul to the devil, became a dangerous sorcerer, and well. He traded the Romanovs. He put, put a curse on the Romanovs, which led to, 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 to their deaths, as in the army invading their palace and killing them all one by one. Moscow, Moscow. No, 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 no. But Rasputin, I tried, but when, when, when Rasputin discovered as Anastasia escaped, it, he tried to kill her. However, in the film, as usual, 
yeah, 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 this in the film, he died the exact same way. Frozen water. Hmm. Now in the film, oh my, in, how, how, however, this, 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 this didn't happen in real life. This happened, however, what, what he did in the film didn't happen in real life, but in the film he did. Anyway, now, now all grown up, uh, Rasputin somehow resin from, from the dead is trying to kill Anastasia. Really? Oh, all right. So what's number two? No, see, oh, what's worst of all, he's unleashed an undead army to finish her off. Oh. Oh, however, get this. Although he does die again. Again. He's just a moving corpse. Moving corpse, whatever. He does die again. All right. Next. Number two. Okay. We both know the story of Moses, right? Yep. Most people do, I presume. I'm not, I don't know it clearly, but I know who the guy is. So this is okay. based on the books. Uh, and the, the, actually, he's based on the Bible story. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we, now, have you ever watched the movie, <laughs> The Prince of Egypt? You can tell us about it, because the, the prince of okay. Oh, sorry, it's just a bit. The whole say was broken. Anyway, now, now, we all remember Ramses, one of one, one of the greatest history villains of all time, the tyrant Ram Ramses the second. Oh, it's gonna sound bad, but look. I, I'm not speed with movies. No, no, no. It's a historical person. Ram Ramses. He's one, one, one of the pharaohs of Egypt. Okay. Yep. Well, long time ago, according to this movie that has the exact same history with history, yeah. Moses, Moses was, was a child, a Hebrew slave that was found by, by the queen in, and was adopted in, posing as a as, as a prince, as a prince. However, when he found, and what's worse, he bonded with his adopted brother, Ramses. They were always getting into trouble. And Moses always got him out of trouble. <laughs> but then things, ha things change. Yeah. When Moses discovered who he was, it, he, decide, he, he decided to leave Egypt. What's worse, he had a message from from the Lord himself, that he should free, free, free the slaves. However, returning from returning to the Pharaoh's palace, discovering Ramses is now the new Pharaoh, the new Pharaoh of Egypt, Ramses, oh no. He tried to ask Ramses to let the people go, but Ramses says no. And in the process, it happened. So the older brother was a bit more... No, Worse, it's it's the weights of responsibility. Mm -hmm. Back then, they believed only the strongest should leave, and there should be no kindness. However, in the process, Ram, he kept Moses kept saying, "Let my people go." But in the process, he ended up awakening the ten plagues. Oh. The ten plagues are like a, a curse. God. If if if, if Ramses doesn't let the people go, God will le release ten plagues on earth. The first one, water turns to blood. Frogs attacked, over frogs come out of nowhere, and, and cover the land. Flies, gents, flies, come out of nowhere and attack people. Lice come out and eat the cross. Lice come out of nowhere and eat. And edge people's hair. The, the is this, this is actually in the movie. Yep. And and the Bible story. And the livestock all died. On by, by, by disease. Cattle, cows, you name it. Yeah. And boils appearing all over bodies. And hail and fire coming out of the coming down from the sky. Locusts eating all the crops. I've heard of the locust plague. Darkness, oh, the darkness. 
a big big cloud big cloud co co cover the darkness. Not even the god called God of Ra couldn't get rid of the darkness. God of Ra is Egypt for sun? Is that yeah, right? yeah, yeah, it's God of Ra. Okay. And finally, Moses tried to warn Ramses that that let my people go. There's something coming and it's worse than the others. And it, mm. but however Ramses forbid it and he said and he said and he, he said one more last time I will not let your people go and what's even worse part oh you want to know what he was going to do next he was playing on throwing, throwing the going to walk off with them no uh, worse 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 R no 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 worse Ramses was going to suggest throwing, throwing the Hebrew born children into the water where, where, where the crocodiles could eat it eat mm. them and that was when Ramses brought on himself the final plague happened. The death of the firstborn son. Moses Moses tried to warn him, but he didn't listen. All the firstborn children died from an unexpected wind, a green curse or something, including the Pharaoh's child. This is an animated movie, right? Yep. And, Sounds pretty scary for an animated movie. Yeah, I know. And get this: oh, his the from Ram, 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 Ramses' son, he died too. His first and only child. Hmm. Until he finally broke and let the and let the slaves go. Wow. Then after that, he tried to chase them. To try to chase after them. You know how Moses let let make, 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 make that path through from the water. Yep. Well, Ramsey's trying to try to chase them through that, but then the water came back in and crushed his army, leaving yeah. him. And Ramsey so survived, but he just was enraged of how he how they escaped. It sounds pretty doom and gloom. Yeah. Got another yeah, one? Got a happier one than that? Oh, yeah. By, by the way, there is a song about the Templex. It's called Let My People Go. <laughs> really? Look, 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 Love Christmas movies. We know we know a lot of Christmas movies that that were based on a book, like The Year of Our Santa Claus or A Christmas Carol or whatever. But but I'm talking about the one I'm talking about is called It's a Wonderful Life. It tells the story of a man who wanted to commit suicide because he believed his life was on the down. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. However, he met a guardian angel from heaven who told him, who showed him what would happen in the world if he didn't exist. And That's he did. Awesome. Lots of bad stuff happened if he wasn't around. Very lots of bad stuff. So, what's the name of this movie, Ryan? Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. Uh huh. And get this. And get this. After seeing, seeing what the world have been, that wouldn't have happened. One of the most best emotional scenes from old movies appeared. <laughs> he begged that he would change his mind. He begged that he wanted to live again. It was a great a, a scene. It was called, uh, I want to live again. Look it up, look it up, look it up. I want to live again. I want to live again. And, 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 and anyway, after re realizing he was back in Real, he added all happy and he lived happily ever after with his family. And as for, for, for the guardian angel, he got his wings for helping that man. Ah, that's a win -win and that situation. film is based on a short story, a very short story. Cool. Can you find the author or? The name of the story? Probably called A Christmas Tale. No, it's a short story, so it's not that famous. Okay. But it is based on a short story. All right. Well, yo. Well, All right. 
All right, that's it for the day, everyone. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that's the top five. What would we call it? Top five movies to uh, s- s- mythical stories? Uh, uh, yeah, the five movies based on myths and stories. Yeah. And as we all know, movies don't always portray the story or the book. And therefore, sometimes... Hey, oh, yeah. I probably should have used the... the, the. The, the, the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Though here, here is a horrible, no honorable mention of one of those lists. Mm-hmm. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. You have heard of the Disney movie, right? Yes. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I surely have. And have you heard about George Claude Frollo? No. The, the bad guy, Frollo. Oh. Look, just, just, just look at the book and the movie and you'll see the details. Okay. All right. Very All right. Simple. That, 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 that's all, folks. That's all.